The Great White North fights back against COVID-19. Canadian universities are front and center tackling this crisis and tracing its impact on our lives. This is Universities Fight COVID-19 from Radio Western. Each episode we tell you about COVID-19 related research and commentary coming out of Canadian universities. Today's episode is from University of Toronto. Every weekday morning, John Verveek live streams a short lesson about meditation, followed by a brief silent meditation period. The University of Toronto professor launched the video series in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. In his academic work, Verveek explores questions such as how do our minds deal with modern world's increasing complexity? How do we train ourselves to face life's challenges? How do we remain connected in a world full of distraction and alienation? In today's COVID-19 world, these questions are relevant now more than ever. Our culture in general is lacking a sense of how we are connected to ourselves, to each other and the world. The pandemic has increased this meaning crisis. Our culture in general is lacking a sense of how we are connected to ourselves, to each other and the world. The pandemic has increased this meaning crisis. People are feeling disconnected from their life, from the world and from each other. Amidst all this, a habit like meditation helps. But meditation is not a vacation. It's an education. Do not make your body and mind cloudy and dull and your consciousness fade away. The relaxation you seek should enhance your sense of stability and sensitivity. And don't think that unless your mind goes wide and blank, you're not meditating. Don't expect your mind to go instantly blank the moment you sit down to meditate. Focus, concentrate, center your mind. It does not mean just focusing your attention. Look at its patterns and processes. Verveek gives this analogy. I look through my glasses all day long, but if they're full of gunk, what I have to do is actually step back and look at them. But apart from a meditative practice, you should also develop a contemplative practice. Verveek goes back to his analogy. If meditation is like stepping back and looking at your glasses, how do you know if you've spotted a distortion or a defect in your glasses? You have to put them back on. Balance how often you meditate and how long you meditate. Let's say you can only sit for 5 minutes instead of a full 15. It's better than nothing. But if you sit only as long as you're comfortable, you're not really pushing yourself and learning new things. Get out of your comfort zone. Slowly, steadily. And it's really important to remember, there is no posture that is free from unpleasant sensations or discomfort. Take it from Verveek himself. He's been meditating for the past 20 years. This story was adapted from Jovana Jankovic's University of Toronto news article, UFT Cognitive Scientist Live Streams Daily Meditation Lessons During COVID-19. She conducted a Q&A session with Dr. Verveek.